My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we will see how we can use regular expressions regex in Power Automate. We will introduce the plugin called Plum Sale. That is a really cool plugin, but we'll get back to that. First, let's uh, let me say that I'm really happy about all your comments, even if it's just a I seen the video, it makes me really happy. So just keep the comments questions coming. And by the way, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about automation and power automate. But let's look at today's mission. So we have some text. It could be an email, it could be in, from an Excel sheet, PDF, SharePoint, Word, or whatever. You got the point. But these confirmations mail say that we are a company and these mails come maybe 100 times a day and we want to extract the data from them. So what we'll need to do here is that we need to extract the order number here and the shipment date here. Like this. And then we will uh, paste them into, in this case, an Excel sheet so we can have all the information in one place. Then uh, we will open uh, an Excel sheet. This one is in my OneDrive, so click this one. And uh, it is a table called Table 1. It consists of two columns, order and date, and then some rows. So we want to add rows to them as uh, the emails uh, keeps coming. And we will use regex for that. Let me close this one. So the first thing that we will need to do is that we go to Plum Sale. That is a plugin, a really cool plugin that we will use. And we will uh, create an API key. So first we will create an account. I already done that, I cheated a bit. Then we will click documents, click API keys, and we'll click add new. I'll call this Anders Power Automate. You can call this whatever you want. It's just a name for, you, for your convenience to easily recognize it. Then we'll click create. And we can now see that we got an API key here. So we will copy that and use it later on. Now we need to use regex to extract this text. And by the way, if you're not familiar with regex, I made a video tutorial, a beginner's tutorial, that will take you through all the basic concepts. I'll leave that a link to that in the description, so you can just go watch it from there. From now on, we will I will assume that you know a little bit about regex. You don't need to be an expert, because this video will just show you how to use it. So I'll go to a regex builder. This one is regexr.com and uh, what we'll need to do here, and by the way, you can use whatever regex builder you like. I just think this is really cool and I've got no shares in it, so uh, that's why I use it. So I'll delete this text that's already in there and I'll paste my text here. And make also sure that you choose the PCRE and not the JavaScript browser engine. So now we can create a pattern because we can see that this pattern, it's find a lot of things that we don't want. We want to find this guy here and afterwards this guy down here. So let's create a regex pattern that will actually do it. So first, let me delete this pattern here. We will need to tell the regex builder what to look behind. And that one will be order number with a dot and then uh, the space here. So we'll say look behind these guys. So that will just be order, number, and then an escape dot, because a dot is a, any number of characters, and then a space again, like this. Then we'll say, uh, what do we want to um, extract? We want to extract uh, some digits. So we could either do like digits and then do any number, but now we know that we always will have seven number of digits, so we can just uh, have curly brackets here and say that we want to look for seven digits after the order number. We'll make it more robust, so to say. Then we will um, end it. We will say, where do we want to end? We want to end with a dot. And now what you'll see here is that Move them up. That we this pattern will extract this order number. Order will actually just find it, but then we can easily extract it in Power Automate. Now we also want the date down here. So let me show you how to do that. So I'll um, let me copy the text again here, and we will open a new regexr. So new pattern. You could of course use the same. 
but it's a bit more easy here. And then I'll just copy my pattern from over here. This one will, of course, find the same order number. Sorry. But now we want to, instead of these guys here, we want to look behind service provider on. And again, you could take uh, as much text uh, you want. It will make it more robust, but it will also make it more complicated. So I'll just stick with service provider on like this. Then I will say, what do we want to look for? I will look for, now we can see it's both digits and dot. So I'll just look for any number, uh, any character. So that one will be a dot and then just uh, a random number. Uh, just a random number, but any number. But now uh, we can see a little bit of problem because it stops with this dot here. So what we'll need to do is that we'll look uh, until we have a, a space and an and. So we will change this and then we'll say and. So now we get a pad. We have a pattern for extracting data again, date and time. So now we can go to Power Automate and actually create our workflow. We click on Power Automate, and then we click Create. Wait a few seconds. By the way, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Power Automate and automation. Then we'll choose an automated flow because we want every time we get these mails, we want to uh, run this flow. So I would call this uh, regex mail, call it whatever you want. Then trigger, that's whenever a new mail arrives. So when a new mail arrives, and I'll choose this from Office 365 Outlook. Then I'll say click create, and now I created uh, the start of the flow, at least the trigger. However, um, we can see here that we can make some filters. Say that we only want the filters from uh, this sender, or we want to, we can see the, the subject should have a certain string in it, or yeah, whatever, or um, where it was from, CZ, T2, uh, or so on. I'll just create no filters because these guys are actually the only thing in my mailbox, but uh, you could create a filter so you know that it will only extract the data from the mails that you actually want. So uh, then we'll choose a new step. We will um, initialize two variables to store our data. So uh, in this variable, we'll call it str order. We will just store both of them as strings with no value in just to begin with. And maybe we could uh, click the three dots here, rename, and this one will initialize variable, and then we'll say order. Maybe just actually do like this. It's always nice to rename your actions here because um, it will make it much easier especially if it's a complicated workflow so now we will initialize another variable here and this one will call str date that will be a string also and with nothing in and again let's rename it str date so now we can see it without opening them then we'll need to introduce our regular expression so click new step and you'll need to search for regular expression. And then we'll move a little bit ahead. We'll need to choose this regular expression match from Plum Sale Documents. So let's click that. We'll need a connection name. And this name uh, could be uh, like anything. So I'll just uh, call it uh, Plum Sale, maybe. And then we'll need uh, the API key that we created before. So copy this API key from Plum Sale and paste it in here, like this. Now we click Create, and uh, we are connected to uh, Plum Sale. So now you'll see that uh, it asks a regular expression match. It changes for that. So first we'll need a pattern, and the pattern was just the one that we created over here in the order. So that's our first pattern. We will uh, just paste in the pattern here. So now we got a pattern. And then we will need a text. And what we'll do here is that we will uh, go over to our dynamic content and we'll say look in the mail body. So whenever a new mail arrives, then we'll look in the body and we'll extract matches with this pattern. So far, so good. 
Then we will have a, a new step, and that will be in apply to each. So we will, um, and um, what will the output? That will be the matches. And again, we could uh, rename this one up here because we'll create two of them. So rename regular expression match, and this one will be match on the order like this. So now, and we take the result here. And then we uh, will um, store the result in our str order up here. So add an action, then set variable here. So what do we want to set? That it was the str order. And the value, you'll see here that uh, we'll, have, we'll just uh, choose the match zero. That will be the match that we get from up here. So now we stored the value in this a process and we can even rename this apply to each and then we will just say or so we know that uh, again where we are now we just repeat this step we will make another regular expression with the date and then apply to each so click new step and then we will say regular expression match like this the pattern that will be the pattern that we created for date and time so copy that one create your flow paste it in and then the text that will again be the male body so scroll a little bit down here and choose the male body rename it again again those rename things you don't have to do it but it will be much much easier when you build complicated white flows so then we will click new step and we'll just do it just as before so find an apply to each and the output that's just the matches here and again now you can see that uh, you can take the date and order and now it makes sense that we rename it because now we can easily see that it's the date matches we want so click that one like this then we want to set our variable again so set variable here and now we will set the date variable so str date and this one will be the uh, match zero from the match state like this and we will again rename this apply to each and call it sorry date like this so now we extracted two matches from our mail body whenever a new mail arrives and now we just need to add them to our excel sheet which were in our OneDrive here so we'll click new step by the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So we'll say add a row into a table like this. Location. Well, that is OneDrive for business here. Then the document library. Well, that's just OneDrive. The file. I placed mine in this folder here called delivery. We'll see that it updated up here. And then the table, that will be table one, really originally. I just created the table quite fast. And then we can say, what do we want to have in the columns? Well, in the order, we want the str order, right? And in the date, we want the str date. So now we can click save. And then we can click test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. So now uh, it will wait for, for a new mail to arrive in our inbox because that's the trigger. It will just stand here and wait. So let's go to our mailbox and I'll just forward this. So uh, let me forward. So you'll see the mail comes in and this one will be uh, like, was it the right mail I chose? Yeah. So now we will send the mail again. So let's send it here. It will be here in one second. We already got it. Uh, it's up here. And now we can go down to Power Automate and we can see that our flow is running. So we will wait a bit. Um, it will run to the flow. We can see that it successfully uh, ran. And now we just need to add a row into our table. That's it. Our flow ran. Now we just have to go to OneDrive, 
open the Excel sheet and verify that we indeed get the data that we want, we can see that we got, we got the order and the date. So mission accomplished. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos that will come up about Power Automate. Have a good day. Bye bye.